All right, Dave, we'll quote you. Uh, what's going on in the weather world? <laughs> yeah. Chilly and, weather to start. Yeah, and I went pleasant. to bed before trick or treating started, full confession, so I assume it was a lovely night last night for all of that. Uh, I was you, out there through trick or treat and then afterwards. It was a lovely night. Good. Okay. <laughs> if you were an afternoon trick or treater, you could have come to our house. Right. Two o'clock, I would have <laughs> yes. been there for That's you. That's it, but, though. Maybe we should do that earlier. Hmm. Hmm. That'd be a little bit better. Yes. <laughs> Not as spooky, I suppose, but the weather's looking pretty good, pretty chilly this morning. Live look at our camera from the BJCC. Not too shabby. Temperatures 47 degrees, calm winds out there. We do have the dew points, though, sitting close to the air temperature, so we could see some patchy fog developing across the area. It's 49 Alabaster to Moundville area, Fayette 46, 43 Jasper, 42 our cold spot, Talladega. Gads and Aniston, both of you sitting in the mid 40s. Temperatures running about a degree to 13 degrees, colder than yesterday at the same time. So a little extra chill into the air for us as the clouds have cleared out there. But we do have a little bit of some fog here across the Coosa River. You can see Aniston visibility about a mile, zero, one mile there in Talladega. So just be aware we could see some patchy river fog. Aside from that, though, kind of a mostly clear start to your day today. There's a front tour north that is going to work its way through the area as well. But no rain with this one. Just going to bring us a couple of clouds. As the day progresses. So this morning, you can see about 49 there at 7 a.m., 55 at 9, and 61 by 11 a.m. So kind of a slow warm up throughout the day today. We stay dry till Wednesday. Some showers moving in there. Better chance of rain Thursday. That's when our front moves in before we finally dry back out for Friday. But look at the temperatures plummeting from near 70 today to the mid 50s for Thursday and Friday this week. So here's how it plays out. That front kind of north of us today, we're getting lower to mid 60s by midday today. By three o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures about 68 to 70 degrees. And it'll continue even by 6 o'clock and around the 60 degree mark overall. That front kind of jumps to the south by 10 o'clock and see in the 50s. And tomorrow morning, front still kind of meandering through the area with a little cloud cover. Temperatures in the lower to mid 40s. That'll sweep through during the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Temperatures will be into the mid 60s to upper 60s across the area. But as we head into Wednesday, we'll see clouds increasing in the morning with a few sprinkles. Temperatures will be in the 40s. And then here comes the rain during the day, and we are going to see there's lighter rain showers. It's going to take a while for all this to reach the ground because there's a lot of dry air in place. So this work looks worse than it really is. But I am expecting to see some wetter weather definitely returning to the area as we head into your Wednesday time frame. Now beyond that, into the weekend, below average temperatures are expected across much of the southeast. So get ready for a big chill and drop in temperatures here, and you'll see that in your seven-day forecast. In your seven-day today, mid 60s tomorrow, 50s on Wednesday, and there's the rain on Thursday. Thursday with our next front coming in, the second one, 55 the high, 42 there. How about 55 on Friday? And potentially maybe a little frost in a few places on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Low temperatures in the upper 30s. Ooh.